Doom on mobile. I mean, it's a no-brainer, really. It's not like modern phones can't handle a game that was originally released way back in 1993. It's a veritable classic that every gamer, and most non-gamers, knows, having been transformed into a franchise over the years, although the resulting sequels, movie adaptions, and modern reimaginings have been a mixed bag. The classic game, though, it never gets old. Boot up Doom on your phone and press play. You'll be transported back to the days of old with classic FPS action. It looks, feels, and sounds exactly as Doom should. Even more so, with updates after updates, and this review is for version 2.9.3, and it sees 60 FPS, added aspect ratio options, quick save and load, level select, quality of life features and performance optimizations, as well as add-on support which brings free downloadable maps including the Sigil and a fan favourite Final Doom. Although you will have to have a Bacida account and be signed in to access these. It is a wealth of content in a game that just never gets old, the price point of 4 dollars seeming just about reasonable. Doom as a game is a classic, it's as simple as that. However, Doom on mobile? Well, it has a few issues, mainly surrounding controls. The most notable being just how much you wish you had a controller. The left side of the screen controls movement and the right side controls the camera. Double tap the left side of the screen to sprint and tap the right side to shoot your gun. Then you can double tap the right side to auto shoot. If all of that wasn't complicated enough, the middle of the screen is the action button and the lower part of the middle screen brings up the weapon selection option. It's a lot of options on a small screen, but just about manageable. Aside from the fact you'll spend a lot of time shooting your gun when you just meant to turn the viewpoint. It's annoying, but not the end of the world. After starting, you'll quickly realise you need to lower the sensitivity, as lining up a shot with the standard settings is just too difficult. Even then, it always feels just a little awkward and will make you really miss that controller. These issues might give you some buyer's remorse, making you wish you just picked it up on a home console or PC instead. These are still the best ways to play the game. As great as it is on mobile, it's just not quite up there. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?